Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client, sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. We're gonna be working with Archangel Lucifer today. And Archangel Lucifer is one of those archangels that not everybody knows how to digest the reality that he's a morning star. He's someone who can transform your relationship with ego versus heart. And so he works with light in order to break down your inner demons, inner fears. So Archangel Lucifer is a very powerful ally. <laughs> He's got a bad rap. Some angels, archangels, humans, aliens. I mean, dark and light sides, right? And so we want to work with the purest vibration of love. And Archangel Lucifer is a representation of the purest vibration of love. Just like Archangel Metatron has a dark and light side as well. I'm not trying to destroy myself or destroy others working with something that's broken. The energy that is purest of all is the energy we're going to be connecting with here with Archangel Lucifer. So I want to thank you so much to the client. Wow, what a cool request. I only get these requests so often. Just working with any Archangel, it's really nice. And Archangel Lucifer is one of my favorites. So this is a real treat for me. I'm going to read your goals here in just a moment. Just want to really thank you again for the opportunity. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. There's a lot of love and a lot of um, intriguing viewpoints that we're going to be shown today. So here we go. Here's your goals for today. You say, hi, Abby. I would love for you to ask Archangel Lucifer, if he doesn't mind, to assist you inside my energy field. I just love your beautiful mind and energy. Thank you. You say, I've been drawn to his energy lately too. It's like my soul knows him. So if you could, I would love some healing of any negative energy in my unconscious. I'm ready to face some of my inner demons and what better way? Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm already crying. I guess my healing has already begun. <laughs> All right. I really love your cheerful goals. I love your energy and really love the opportunity. I'm going to relax now, close my eyes, get tuned into Archangel Lucifer here. <sighs> See what we can do to really help you feel a sense of transformation, your connection with the inner demons. Being able to see what are these inner demons that we're going to face today. Let's let these go. Welcoming Archangel Lucifer to support in this process. And they really help you from the inside out. You feel like a new person. Okay. Alrighty, it's kind of breathtaking. A lot of energy hits me kind of in the gut, okay? In the gut, in the heart. So it's like a punch, but it doesn't hurt me. It just kind of takes my breath away. And I feel it. And it's like, let's say there's a bruise and then you touch the bruise, but then you push on it. It's, let's say we have a broken arm and we touch the broken arm. Now we push on it. It's, you start to feel, ooh, that's, just, that's, a, that's a sore spot. That's a, ow, hey, now. <laughs> that's a very sore spot. So I'm feeling like pressure here in the emotional gut and in the heart. Like we're putting pressure in this space. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me just catch up here with what's going on. I'm noticing that there's really intense colors of red and orange. All right. Okay, the picture is complicated. It's a very small enclosure. And you're really squished in there tight, almost like it's you're stuck in the wall. But there is a door. So if I open this door, it's like, whoa, how'd you fit in there? It's like a wall. Well, you're stuck in there and there is a door to it. It's just like lack of breathing room, lack of expansion. But there's also this uh, incomprehensible step. Like you're ready to expand. That's, that's what Archangel Lucifer is showing me. You're ready for expansion. You're ready to get out of the wall. There's a door there, but, but there's this incomprehensible step. So once you're out of the wall, you are where now? And how do you digest the expansion? How do you digest your reflection in the mirror with this expansion? So it seems to me like 
it's time, it's time to open up to a bigger world. Um, but then how do you navigate? How do you translate? How do you become part of the bigger world? This is, this is not straightforward. This is actually complicated. It's not as easy as just oh, open the door, bam, now you can do it. It's not that easy. That's why you're, you're asking for Archangel Lucifer's help, because he's the key to the puzzle. It's almost like you're going to see this next step with his help through his eyes. Like you're really wanting to illuminate your higher mind, your, your third eye, your heart, like your, your emotions, your sacredness, your root, like you're really your voice. Like you're wanting to illuminate all that you are. So you're working with a morning star in order to illuminate all that you are to become bright and then confident and be able to translate that information of your own soul. So, so you're seeking Archangel Lucifer to almost like walk in his shoes, let him kind of um, hold you up and help you navigate, which what is an extraordinary um, event of light, an awakening of light. So it's one of those questions like what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? So what came first? You um, seeking this session, um, maybe it was uh, you were already in the shoes of Archangel Lucifer. You were just becoming aware of it now. And you're also craving, like starving for a huge sort of a event, a light event, like a huge, like pfft, light, blah, 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 like, whoa, <laughs> I'm becoming this like force of light. And so <laughs> it's like, when did this happen in time? Has it happened? When will it happen? Has it already happened? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, did Lucifer come to you, you to him? Did, it, it's like all divine. I mean, everything's overlapping, like a bunch of overlapping pages of it's all now. It's all you're preparing for it. It already has happened. You're starving for it. You're seeking it. It's, it's just like all this happening, okay? Okay, so that that takes the breath away. So is it a bruise? Is it something broken? Ouch, uh, here in the emotions? Maybe. I mean, I am seeing you in a wall. That can't be emotionally, like an emotionally thriving environment. <laughs> it's like, uh, what does the wall represent? It may represent uh, feeling a bit claustrophobic in the world and the day-to-day -day life. And you just, oh, I got to get out of this wall, you know? I got to get out. I got to feel the light. Like, I want to come to life. I want to be this, like, like, I'm ready. I know I'm it. I'm ready for it. Like, ah, oh, let this happen, you know? So that's kind of what the wall means to me. And so, yeah, there's an emotional meaning to it as well. It's sort of like there's a breath thing happening here. Okay, so Archangel Lucifer, what is, how, how do we want to, how do we want to understand what the next step is? How do we want to attain it? Because, I, okay, so this is the conversation. It's about um, fantasy and reality, okay? There's a magic to this intense light. And the magic is real, okay? But the reality of being human and working with the intense light might feel um, a little like magical at first or may become mundane as well. But it, it's kind of like, how do we really spark the magic of what this is all about and let that magic just rumble and let it be felt day and night and let it not subside, let it not become familiar and then boring even. So there's this like mix between the fantasy and reality that, yeah, this light is happening. But then a bit of the fantasy and the reality of how does this intertwine with day-to-day -day human life and how do we translate identity, place, um, next step, and all of this. That's why Ar Archangel Lucifer is a total guide for you. You're on the right track. There's, it's like, it, it seems no-brainer level, okay? You're not going to fail in this. You, you are going to achieve what this is about. All right. Okay, I'm still in that con inconceivable step. Because I, I keep wanting to see you. I, I choose to see Archangel Lucifer standing outside the wall, okay? And then I see you standing in his shoes. Literally, you are both standing in the same form. You are a representation of Archangel Lucifer in this world. And so he also helps you to stand in your own light, in your own divine light. 
and understand what that that's saying what the voice of that is speaking it's yours it's your light and there's a process to it because you need a bit of support and standing in some kind of new energy event okay so i tell archangel lucifer okay i see i see archangel lucifer i see you in the body of Archangel Lucifer. I also see you still in the wall, like you're never going to get out. And again, the words fantasy and reality keep echoing, like they keep circulating around. Because the inconceivable is, what is the profound light experience? How will it be felt? What will it be saying? Will you know what it's saying? Will you know what to do? How will you know what to do? It is happening. It already has happened. So the reality is, what do we do with it? Um, and, and so it's kind of like getting grounded a bit. This, I'm still in the inconceivable, so I, I can't get out of the inconceivable yet. So even for me, energy-wise, it's uh, mysterious, okay? It's like trying to read a book where I can't see um, any of the writing, <laughs> okay? It's like, uh, is this like a joke or something? There's no writing in this book. No, you're just in the inconceivable. The writing is special. It will become visible in time. You're still conceiving this. It's still, a, you're in the process of conceiving what this is all about. And we can't force it to just bam. You you conceive of it all now. You know everything. It's just like, okay, kindergarten child. Now you are going to conceive of a PhD level doctorate in dot dot dot. You understand everything now. It's just like the fantasy is, yeah, maybe in uh, 20, 30 years, we'll get there. But right now, um, you know, just got to do kindergarten. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I want to know everything right now. I don't like, I'm ready for everything right now. <laughs> so that's part of the message is you're ready for everything right now. The, this is a big energy event. This is real. Um, you are moving out of the wall and into a much more expanded space and experience of yourself and the world around you. It's extremely enriching. You're starving for it. Archangel Lucifer is totally helping you with this. Seems like it's inevitable that Archangel Lucifer would help you with this. And you both are standing in the same shoes, which is really cool. I mean, he's got you. I mean, you, you couldn't be um, more helped by somebody than just... You know, I'm going to be your legs when you're having a hard time standing. Let me help you, you know? But it also is like the reality that, well, we're still at the kin kindergarten phase of the PhD and understanding what this light event is. Okay. Okay, you needed to hear that. Okay, so you're starting to let go of the wall space. Because part of what was holding you in there was the sense that you're never going to figure it out. And you really want some clear language or clear direction. We all do. <laughs> I want some clear language and direction. And I feel like I, I'm pretty good at attaining it. But it's not like as cut and dry as I would like it to be. You know? <laughs> all right. So I like seeing you leaving the wall. And I see Archangel Lucifer smiles and waves and said, come here. Come here, you. Like, um, like. Hey, we invited you to the party. Where have you been? <laughs> Get over here, you. It's kind of like that. And you're like, well, aren't I with you already? And he's kind of saying that yes and no. You're learning how to, you're learn, learning how to walk the path. And I feel like the words the path, it, it's all, it's like a spiritual path. It's an illuminating path. And so you're learning to walk the path, you know? And, okay, he's bringing, he's bringing memory, it seems like from somewhere else in the universe, but it's not that far away. It also feels like um, memory about what love is. And that could be other lifetimes, this lifetime. Um, your soul's energy, your soul's essence, your soul's own light. Archangel Lucifer's essence, light. And the story of human history teaches us about love. And it's bringing love out of, um, I don't know, off the shelf, dusted off and bringing it into the heart. And when you walk the path, you walk the path as a messenger of love, you know, your messenger of love. And that's your message. So your message could be influenced by anybody, 
but why not let it be your influence, your inspiration? Like, what is it, what does love say to you? How do you want to share what love means to you? What, what is that message to the world? So you're walking in the shoes of, of the morning star and you're walking in the shoes of, of the path of love. And that is a much more expanded universe than the wall. Okay. And so if human language isn't speaking, you know, is, isn't on the path of the messenger of love, it might be imprisoning. It might be in the ego in trying to create the logical conclusions and the way it has to be and you better get in line and don't get out of line and now we're trying to control and uh, manipulate and whatever garbage we it, you know turns the tide here but when you're when you're on the path of love and you're a messenger of love you're completely open you know there aren't any walls you're completely open this is so natural it's so natural for you and Archangel Lucifer. It's so natural. It feels like best friends. It's nice to feel that. You enrich his life as he enriches yours. That's beautiful. You're asking, um, could you get any hints where to start translating all of this? For one, you already are, so you don't have to use your head to do it better. Um, when you get centered in your heart, you're going to be... It's always about what does love mean to you in everything that you do in your life. Sometimes love is tough love. Then sometimes love is kind love. It's nice when it can be kind love, but sometimes it has to be tough love. And so it's learning about love and you understanding and expressing and being that which love is, right? You're learning it and becoming it. You're already on the path. Okay, I, I feel like strongly there's something else to answer your question, but also Archangel Lucifer, I feel like there's some other message here. And it's, I don't know what it is just yet. I'm going to just wait a minute. Okay, he asks you, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? And it's, um, it doesn't have to be a complicated answer. It's not like, oh, I, I guess uh, maybe city, state, uh, country. Um, it could be a fairy tale place. It could be the Garden of Eden or, um, I don't know, like a fairy realm or um, alien planet. It, it seems like the world is the universe. Like... Maybe it could be visiting a memory that really enriched your life. Maybe you miss that person. It could be anywhere you could ever want to go. It's somewhere you want to go. And the question is, you know, if you go anywhere in the world, where would it be? What would it feel like there? Why would you want to go there? What would you do there? How would it make you feel to be there? Would it feel healing? Would it feel inspiring? Would it feel like fresh air? Would there be people there? Would it just be you? Would there be nature? And would you want to bring anybody with you? What would you want to bring with you on the trip? Like, um, he's asking you these questions and gets you reflecting on what are you attracted to in this life? Where do you want to go in this life? Whether that's actually a physical place or an energetic place. It's a place that is important to your soul, to your energy. And so let's say the, an example, your response is, uh, I want to go, I don't know, um, visit ancient Egypt. Let's just say your answer is that. And then why would you want to go there? And the, your response to that is, is always like true to your heart. Um, well, I always liked ancient Egypt. I'm curious about the mysteries of, of our planet. And I want to I want to understand those mysteries. I know I'm a part of those mysteries. It makes me good to think about myself as a part of ancient Egypt, just living in the modern day times. I'd love to learn more about this, like from inside myself, you know, so now you're in a dialogue and you're just kind of like a waterfall of language about um, where you feel drawn to and where you feel drawn to and how you answer that question is important. Because it's teaching you about your soul. It's teaching you about yourself. It's teaching about what love means to you, what you seek in this life. 
what do you seek to know who do you seek to be what is the energy that that it just like come, brings you to life you know and you could answer that question a hundred times and he's showing me this is a, an important dialogue because it's going to help you start to translate that book of love. Not because it was logical, but because it was innocent. Because it was creative. Because it was a spark. It's getting you out of the wall and helping you experience the whole world. The whole world isn't just earth present time. It's like circa present. <laughs> it's like the whole world is the universe and beyond. And you are connected to the whole world, the universe, and beyond. And that is something, it's, it's time for you to really feel that the elevator of everywhere you can go is accessible to you. And he's going to help you with this. Like, he's, he's helping you with this already. It's inevitable that you're going to go on a fun adventure of understanding what this means. Of working with what this is about. I'm going to I'm going to stick around for just another minute because I, I keep getting this tug like I, I see that we're opening up your energy field we're opening up your breath we're helping you stand in Archangel Lucifer's shoes which is also your own profound light your own profound path of love your own um, it's like what you seek in this life as a human but is also in tune with your own spirit and I keep seeing this the literal elevator that goes down down and infinitely down and then infinitely up but you seem kind of not sure how to work it not how to work the the elevator that gives you the freedom to go wherever you want not because you went there but because you're a part of there you're part of everything that is down and up right left within around you're part of everything that is everywhere and again it's just like oh, we got to open this up there aren't any walls anymore you completely open. The elevator goes everywhere because you're already a part of everywhere. Archangel Lucifer is helping you to open, 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 open up. So that you can feel truly um, complete. Inhale and exhale the expansion that you already are. <sighs> the inconceivable is becoming conceivable. And again, it starts with this basic conversation. And be open, you know. Say, okay, Lucifer. All right, I'm going to try this. Okay, hang out with me. I'm here. I'm showing up to the party. Okay, let's hang out. Now you're asking me if I could go anywhere. Where would I go? And take some time to think about it or just be swift about it. Like, the first thing that comes to me, I'd go there. And this is what I do there. And you know what? Like me, don't like me, I do that. <laughs> and it's like that's the first thing that comes to me okay well what's the next thing that comes to me um you know it's certainly going to start getting deeper and more meaningful the more you answer but also pause and see if you get this like little notion of him talking to you about what your answer is like him opening up conversation not because it's complicated like um, you know, Egypt, blah, 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 blah. No, it's just like um, showing you as a child looking at a book about Egyptian gods and goddesses or something like this. Um, that's him having an exchange with you and him reminding you of your innocence and your, your childhood. Some, you know what I mean? And so you got to be still for a moment and welcome the exchange to come from within. You'll get a picture, you'll get a feeling, and it's going to be very loving. It's going to continue to help you like climb. I see you climbing a tree to the very top. And you are the tree. You are also the climber. You are the sun that shines upon the tree. You are the earth that nurtures the tree. You're all of this. So you are the elevator that is a part of everything. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed this experience, sharing this message with you. Thank you everybody for watching. If I can help anyone um, through a session, it would truly be an honor to support you. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everyone.